There we go. So again, first row to make zeros in the first column. So the first row stays the same. To make this a zero, I'll do negative two times row one plus row two. So negative two times row one plus row two to make my new row two. So negative two plus two is zero. Four plus one is five. Negative four minus one is negative five. Eighteen plus seven is 25. Excellent. Now for this guy. Negative 3 times row 1 plus row 3 will do it. So negative 3 times row 1 plus row 3 to make my new row 3. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 6 minus 1 is 5. Negative 6 plus 1 is 5. 27 plus 5 is 32. Excellent. So, zeros in the first column. Hooray! Uh, now our aim would be to use the second row to get zeros in the second column. But before I do that, I'm going to clean this guy up a bit. If I can divide every single piece of a row by the same number, um, that will make it simpler. Well, actually, never mind. No, let's we'll do it. So, I'm just going to go for the lower, uh, using my second row to get zeros in the second column. And I could get both this zero and that zero, but I'm just going to go for this lower triangle of zeros. It's going to be a bit faster, and I'm going to yank it out of the matrix as soon as I can. So, aiming for this zero, I can just subtract these two rows. So I can do row 2 minus row 3 to make my new row 3. So row 2 minus row 3 to make my new row 3. So we'll leave the top guy the same, and leave the second guy the same, and just get that guy to be a 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. Negative 5. Shoot. This was supposed to be a negative 5. I think I messed that up. So from up here, that came from was, my row 3 was negative 3 times row 1 plus row 3. So negative 6 plus 1 should have been a negative 5 there. My apologies. So now when I do negative 5, Row 2 minus row 3, negative 5 minus and minus 5 is 0, and 25 minus 32 is minus 7. So, now when I go to yank it out of the matrix, though, I've got this weird 0, 0, 0 here. This would mean that 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals negative 7. Well, that's 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is 0, and 0 does not equal negative 7. That is a very, very false statement. So this system of equations has no solution. And that's what a no solution answer looks like. Zero, zero, zero with a number. It's not going to happen. And that's that.